It's December 3rd, my name is Reagan, and on this channel I'm documenting the collapse of civilization by means of abrupt climate change, which happens over the span of decades and not centuries, right in front of our eyes. So at this point in the video, I'd ask that you please hit that thumbs up button and consider donating to support my work of raw and unfiltered journalism. So let's get into the roundup of Earth Vitals. NASA's ocean heat content data confirms record high Earth energy imbalance. You can see the graph here. If that was a stock, I would hedge all of my bets on that for the past three years. Indicates a global energy imbalance of greater than 1.5 watts per meter squared. And for the past year, it's been 2 watts per meter squared. The three-year average ocean heat content based off Earth's energy imbalance is off the charts. The hits keep coming. Also from Elliot Jacobson tracking the global sea surface temperatures record anomalies. Um, we now have or exceeded 1.5 and the fact that world delegates are talking about keeping 1.5 alive is a joke in your face. Um, certainly, virtually certain to be the hottest in human history. WMO claims we'll be at 1.4 degrees, though they're using they're always trying to use every means to justify it a little bit lower. Um, record temperatures in all over the world and grade whale die-offs driven by food supply swings and changing Arctic conditions. Surprise, you knew this. Drier than the Dust Bowl, Iowa facing more drought preps for shortages. Um, dust storm catastrophe serves as a major warning, perhaps in the heart of the U.S. Corn Belt in May 2023 caused blackout conditions in Illinois, a hailstorm in Austin, Texas, caused $600 million in damage to cars, and more. One of the costliest hailstorms in Austin area history. Um, Amazon severe drought and recorded history. Also warming conditions in South America, flooding in Uruguay. Chile's far south, scientists records an islands quif quickly shifting ecology, non-stop change, more from Texas, so glad I moved away, costly disasters sent Texas homeowners insurance rates skyrocketing this year, Texas rates have increased 22% on average, and twice the national rate, more billion dollar disasters have occurred in Texas than any other year on record. <sighs> sigh yeah that's twice the increase of 11 percent over the same period okay former white house advisor says climate change is hitting people in the face this boomer jana mccarthy talks about this before cop 28 i'm not going to play the video because i could care less the united nations says humanity's fate hangs in the balance as u.n chief calls for urgent action earth's vital signs are failing and preventing and pr to prevent planetary crash and burn we need cooperation and political will too bad no. It's been Los Angeles, but now New York ranks as having the worst traffic in the entire country. Oh, lucky us. The familiar sound of blaring car horns and trucks roaring down busy roads. I wish for the amazing new iPhone 15 Pro. <laughs> John, do you mean this one, the one with titanium? No way I could trade this busted up thing for one. Switch to Verizon and trade in any iPhone and get the new iPhone 15 Pro on them. What? Like carbon capture. And clean energy from hydrogen. Heavy industry with low emissions. Let's deliver. Will you Who shut is up, man? Listen, are you I'm, in favor of law and order? I'm in favor of law. You follow it a little bit of order. Are you in favor of law and order? Go yes, I'm in favor of law You ask a question, let him finish. Law and order. Let him law and order. order. Let him. Pointing his gun as he argued with the crowd, then moments later, <laughs> the 77-year-old opening fire, killing two protesters. Like Hamas militants walking each of those 12 hostages to the Red Cross, among them 17-year-old Mia Leenberg, seen here clutching her pet dog, Bella, both surviving captivity together. Mia kidnapped along with her mother, Gabriella, seen here tonight holding each other close. Go dogs! Go dogs! <laughs> All right, we can end this briefing if it's not going to be respectful here. Chris, 
That's what I'm saying. You are okay. a civil and African okay. leader, and you don't take questions. Thanks, everybody. Oh, question about gas prices. Oh, thanks, everybody. Can we do one about right. the quality gas prices? <laughs> we are at war with each other, and continuously so. There is no global cooperation. In fact, we are going in the wrong direction, 100 miles per hour, hundreds of new oil and gas projects approved despite the crisis. Yep, more than 400 oil and gas projects were approved globally over the last two years despite calls to ban any new hydrocarbon development. So uh, did you also know that hydrogen cars use up twice the amount of energy as electric cars to, to repower? Hmm? Or the fact that they cost an insurmountable amount of money more. Okay, do you do any critical thinking or research? Okay, nearly 200 private and public corporations across 58 countries were involved in 437 new um, fossil fuel projects. Quote, we are in denial about the environmental emergency. The conclusions drawn from the IPCC, aren't we? We are in hardcore denial. And stone don't hopium. New research explores future limits of survival and livability in extreme heat conditions. This summer's record smashing heat in Arizona has demonstrated a concerning future for the planet's warming season from power outages endangering entire neighborhoods and heat related deaths. How does anyone live there, especially when the Colorado River goes dry? Um, there was that 23 year old woman who died of uh, cardio respiratory arrest at Taylor Swift concert in Brazil. The idea is that you could survive up to six hours of that level level of heat exposure. That number really oversimplifies what happens physiologically in the body when your body is exposed to that temperature. It doesn't account for important variables like age or other vulnerability factors. So, I mean, each person is different, and, you know, we're in uncharted territory. Okay? And I'm not going into environmental engineering or or being a, a weather forecaster. Look, experts in Midwest is, is reporting brings burnout and threats. So this article from NPR is talking about this person who becomes a job at, as a chief meteorologist at this um, in Des Moines and has extensive experience in more than 15 years in TV meteorology. And he looked forward to connecting the dots, you know, and going out and talking about it. But he said, I expected pushback, but I didn't expect the magnitude of how quickly it went off the rails. So, you know, this is the kind of boomer denial, generational trash you get, and younger people too. I'm, I'm not just singling out older people. They're just especially prone to because of what they've been influenced by. There's a big generational gap. It was stuff like, I don't need to hear your liberal conspiracies on our air. Take your politics out of forecast. You're polit politicizing weather. You're a puppet for the left. Oh my God. I've gotten this on my channel too. I mean, a steady stream of this crap when clearly look like straight up I don't care about left to right ideology I follow the science and the evidence okay you never know what hill someone what hill someone's willing to die on and you can kick somebody when they're down only so many times before they have to just give up so this article just goes on saying like just burnout you know I wanted to become a scientist I wanted to do this and, and get forward and talk about this but instead you just being you're just being face to face with stupid and denial all the time personally I can relate I mean I can't even you can't even talk to people in public you know so I debated doing this report today but I had a few minutes to spare and I'm a wee bit tiny bit hungover from some brandy last night I was celebrating my check engine light going off because it turned on and I ended up putting some catalytic converter cleaner in it and it turned off so that was a great joy not to be dealing with the stressful P0420 code. I'm hoping to get my car to 300,000 miles it has about 239 or so so if I can make it till then if I can make it to this community and start building then I consider that a success and you do realize that we're in like a runaway climate scenario and this is going to affect the the world health organization's lead just came out at cop 28 and is like this affects everyone everywhere in every way this is the greatest health threat we've ever faced why would you subject another life to that it's beyond common sense to me they think they can shield them from the damages of this and that's false okay i'm gonna go cook lunch edit this and i appreciate your support 
and I'll keep this going. Thanks, guys and gals around the planet. You know who you are and aren't. I appreciate you. Talk to you later. See ya.